doctors won't just amputate your leg uh, because uh, you can't use it. The policy is that you, you only amputate to save lives. And I had to make a really good case for it. My life was ruined, uh, so they were actually going to save it. I think it's about 15 years ago that I found small lumps uh, on my fingers. Uh, at first, they, they didn't hurt that much. It took perhaps three years until the doctors figured out what was happening. Five years ago, my feet started to hurt uh, quite a bit. Tumors were growing uh, first in the uh, right foot. The largest one was like uh, a golf ball. I'm gonna try these things and if they don't work, I'm just gonna remove the feet. And that was my plan from the beginning. I figured, yeah, I, I just want my life back. In October 19, I, I had my right foot uh, amputated. And uh, the six first weeks after the amputation was really, really painful. Uh, but now I realized that the right stump was better than the left foot. I got my first prosthetic and I started walking. <laughs> the problem wasn't my prosthetic on my stump, it was my left foot. I spoke to my uh, doctor, uh, he uh, agreed to, uh, to amputate the uh, second leg in February 20. I slowly, slowly started to uh, get confidence uh, walking with my prosthetics. And I started to be able to do things I didn't do before. Uh, but mainly, uh, with my wheelchair, I could do most of the things. I could go out with friends, I could go shopping, I could uh, hang out with my kid. I could start doing sports. And that was a really good feeling. My, I wasn't in pain all the time. It's never too late to learn something new, regardless of what, uh, what limits you have. Uh, you have to work with them. I got my life back. Uh, being able to work with, with prosthetics is a big bonus. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with the results.